good. Um, hello, do you want to introduce yourself? Good morning, Mel. My, my name is Maris Broders. I am your brother-in-law and uh, I, I am 40, nearly 42 years old. So, so that's how long I've been in the workforce for. I was at high school a long time ago. Yeah, and what is your job? What, do you, what are you doing? I, I am what you call a dental prosthetist. So it's a tongue twister, but it's, it's generally, essentially a, a dental technician. And, and I went on and, and did some advanced training to, to become a prosthetist, which enables me to see patients as well. Okay. So let's go back to high school. Um, when you were in high school, what is this the path that you were thinking that you might be going down or, and, um, or what were you thinking of and what subjects did you do for uh, 11 and 12? If you remember. I can, I, I can say it's absolutely not the path I was thinking of taking when I was at high school. I was, I was one, of, one of many that had no idea what I wanted to do at that stage. I really didn't and, and you can probably very well remember that Mel. When I was at high school, I, I, I had no direction at the time. I, I really feel for, for, for you kids going through that right now because there's, there's so much out there. And I, I, uh, I didn't really fall into what, what I'm doing now until ooh, late 20s. So, so I'll, I'll get into what I did between then. But uh, that's, that's, that's what happened with me. As, 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 as far as what subjects I did at school, um, it was a mixed bag. I, I guess I, I geared it more towards arts towards the end. Um, and then obviously I did nothing with that. So <laughs> it's, it's a real mixed bag. It's funny how that works, isn't it? Because I remember you doing art, mm. my goodness. I remember teaching rounds being uh, being at your school and uh, yeah 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 um, so after high school what did you end up doing well straight out of high school i i went into a two-year uh diploma in natural resource management um because i i've always loved the outdoors and and traveling and and i thought i'd, I'd love to get a job in the in the field um that was really a stepping stone then to get into uh, my next course, which I did after that, I, I moved up to Albury and did uh, four years up there and got a Bachelor uh, of Applied Science in Ecotourism. And, and also, as you can see, that, that, was, that was all, all well in its time and, and uh, I enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed it. I didn't find the work I wanted or needed there and, and uh, ended up, ended up travelling for a couple of years. And, and that is when, when I was at, a, at an age where I thought, well, I've got to pull my finger out and, and start thinking long term. And it was, it was uh, my, boss, my boss in London at the time that, that put the thought in my mind uh, about uh, pursuing my trade, what I do now, dental prosthetist. It wasn't my dad, as, as many might believe, who, who is a recently retired dentist. He had nothing to do with it. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's how it played out. So you can see I've, I've, I've been here, there and everywhere and, and eventually found, found myself doing what I, what I now really enjoy. So what, um, what qualifications did you need to get? What training did you need to get? Because of course you were not traveling this path. So at this time, what did you have to do? No, no, that's right. So I had to, uh, essentially you do a four year apprenticeship initially to, to get your dental technician trade. All right. So you've got to be on the job training much, much like an apprentice. You, you go to school while you're working, uh, which has its challenges of course, but, but you've got to be able to see the light at the end of that. Uh, if you can do that, it quite often can work, can work really well in your favor. Um, and then after that, I did my two years advanced training to become a dental prosthetist, which, which enables me to see patients in my own clinic and, and see them from start to finish. 
So okay. six years in all. Yeah, so you were working um, in somebody's practice. So what then made you take this the next step from working with someone to the, if you want to explain what you're actually, what you set up for yourself? Well, I've always, I've always wanted to, to work for myself, be my own boss. That's, that, that was my long-term goal. And, and I've, I've always listened to my, my all pup, my good all pup used to always say, you must drive your own bus. <laughs> and I've, I've taken that on board uh, through, through my life. And, and eventually I got there. It, it was always the long-term plan to, uh, to, to work for myself and set up my own shop. Yeah, it was just, I mean, it was great that you did that at the beginning, isn't it? That you got your experience, your qualifications and such, and then decided, okay, I'm going to start. Yeah, well, that, that, that's exactly right. So, so I did, I did my, my four years training with, with, the, with the laboratory and, and I stayed on, I stayed on, I was actually there seven years in all. So I was able to do my training whilst I did my, Procedures training. I, I I stayed on there and, and then did an extra seventh year, and I'd always had my eye on a particular establishment where I wanted to set up shop, and and that opportunity came up, uh, I guess earlier than anticipated, mm -hmm. and and I jumped on it, and and I was able, I was fortunate that I was able to uh, set up shop pretty quickly. It, it all fell fell into line at the end of. Uh, that particular year and, and I spent the summer getting it up to speed and, and jumped into 2014 with, with, uh, with a new business and it all, all, uh, all went uphill from there. It was good. Excellent. Okay. So um, let's look at um, things that you, well, the great things you like about your job and anything that's mm -hmm. hard, um, difficult with the setup and what you're doing. Yeah, it's well. You've seen people. You've you've got your challenges, of course. Each each case is different, but that's that's what keeps it interesting. It's certainly not boring. Uh, it's rewarding uh, because because everyone's different. You you have to find what suits and works for them. And 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 you really uh, part of my job is you need that chair side manner. You, you need to be good with with people, uh, communicable. Um, and passionate about your work too. I've, like, like I said before, I, I started down the, the artistic side of, of life. And, and I guess it's, it's funny that I've fallen into a, a line of work which requires working with my hands. So I guess I was always gonna uh, be working with my hands. Uh, it, that's, that's, that's what I enjoy. Um, I'm artistic and there's an element, a great element of that in what I do. So, yeah. So what actually, we haven't actually touched on what it actually is that you do in your job. So what, what you I mean, yes, uh, it's dental, but what actually do you, what actually do you do? Well, essentially as a dental procedist, I specialize in dentures. All right. So removable teeth for, for, for people who need, who require such a thing uh that that's primarily what i do but i also i also do uh sports mouth guards uh for for um custom fit mouth guards for for sports uh, athletes and and uh, uh devices to to prevent people from grinding their teeth at night and the like yeah there, there, there's all sorts of aspects it's it's interesting Okay, um, what else do you, I don't know what else the students might like to know about. Is there, I mean, hello. Hello. What do you want to be when you grow up, Morgan? Uh, Mum said that I'd be a good game creator. Okay. So would. <laughs> Always need game go. creators. <laughs> um, okay, so... Is there lots of prospects in your field if people were, students were interested in maybe going this path? Is this something that is needed? Are there always jobs available? Well, it's what you make of it. Yes, people will always need their teeth. So there's always work out there. And, and if, if you chase it, you'll get it. 
Um, I think my line of work, I don't think you'd have an issue getting work. It, to, actual dentists, there, there's a bit of an overkill at the moment. You'll, you'll find a, a dental practice on every corner almost. Mm. And, and uh, I guess that's causing some of them to struggle to survive competition. Um, but, but in my line of work, there's, there's not so many, uh, if, if you set up a, a good, a good laboratory clinic, then you've got a pretty good chance of, of, um, doing okay. Okay. Yeah. I can, yeah. It's that always that specializing and finding that little niche mm -hmm. in the market. That's not the same as everyone yeah. else. I can understand that that helps Behind you. The things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, well, thank you so much, Maris, for your time. Really appreciate you sharing your experiences with the Year 9 students. You're welcome. I hope you get something out of it.